Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine as we are facing this health crisis. Let's hope that everything gets normal soon. Until then, stay home, stay safe. You can utilize this time to actually learn some new skills watching all the free tutorials by Dog Motions. Anyways, in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create some very cool looking colorful abstract shape patterns inside of Photoshop using some very simple and easy techniques. So without any further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. All right, guys, here we are in Photoshop. Let's start by creating a new document. I'm gonna keep it 1920 by 1920, 1300 resolution, RGB color, 8-bit and everything looks pretty much basic. So I'm gonna click on create. So here we have our new document. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the layer. But before that, let's actually create a new layer and call this pattern underscore O1. I'm gonna select it, right click and convert this to a smart object. Now we can delete this layer. So there we have our pattern. Let's go into filter go into render and add clouds so this is going to help us to achieve that abstract effect now we need to go into filter again and use our filter gallery and this is where all the magic happens so right over here you can see we already have a grain layer applied on to as a filter but we need to add some more layers so that i can do by clicking on this icon which says new effect layer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click to create two more so now we have three layers so i'm going to select the second one again go into sketch and let's use a stamp effect select this one again and click on stamp effect all right now i'm going to hide this one let's go into the grain layer and now the grain type is set to regular so you can select from number of different options that we have but for this case the stipple looks the best now we can go ahead and adjust it depending on the look we want. So I can play around with the intensity and stuff like that. But now I'm going to go into the stamp and let's increase the smoothness a bit. So I'm going to set this to around 40. And now you can see right off the bat, we can adjust the grain and tweak the shapes. Pretty cool so I can also zoom out a bit so you can you guys can see it more properly so as you can see I can play around with the contrast and you know I can play around with the effect and try to come up with the effect that I like but now you can see in the edges we have this kind of soft edge look that I don't really like as you can see right over here as well so to fix this I'm going to use our third layer of the stamp so I'm going to turn that on and all I have to do is increase the smoothness all the way up to 50 and now it's gone so all you have to do is adjust the grain contrast and play around with the stamp so you can play around with the smoothness again depending on the look you want to go with so 40 looks good all we have to do is play around with the intensity and the contrast of the grain just like that and once you're happy with the effect i can go ahead and click on ok and there we have it now if you want to randomize the effect you can keep clicking on clouds so i can double click on clouds and it's gonna regenerate some different shapes as you can see pretty cool right now one thing you need to keep in mind that the white section is going to be our color section and the black section is going to be transparent and to make it transparent what i'm going to do is right click and go into the blending options right over here then make sure the blend if is set to gray and i'm going to move the icon just right over here just add one and then hold alt and just you know divide it just like that and i'm going to drag this all the way up somewhere around 200 all right then click on ok now we don't have any background yet but you can see the black part is now transparent so let's go ahead and add a solid color let's keep it something like a nice blue put this as a background and now to add a color on this i can again use a solid color and this time i'm going to use a nice maybe kind of a hot pink and then hold alt and as you move the cursor right over here you can 
just click it to create a clipping mask but that is not gonna work because we need to group this layer so i'm going to select this hit ctrl g to group that up and let's call this pattern underscore o1 and then select this layer and clip mask it so basically if you don't want to do it this way you can select it right click and create a clipping mask and now you can see we have this really cool look and again if you're not happy with the design you can keep clicking on the clouds so it's gonna generate some abstract shapes just like that so that looks pretty good so this is the complete base of the look that we are going for so now i can select these two layers and hit ctrl j to duplicate it i can you know change the color of this one so let's keep it something like a nice yellow color and then i can go right over here and double click on the clouds to regenerate some different looks so that looks pretty good let's do this one more time so i'm going to select this hit ctrl j and let's select a different color so this time i'm going to go with a nice blue color go right here and regenerate the clouds and that is looking pretty sick but this time i want the blue to be very little so i want to bring down the shape size of the abstract shape so what i can do is jump into the filter gallery there we have it let's go into the green and let's bring up the intensity all right and let's hit okay so now we have less blue shapes as you can see let's duplicate this one more time so i'm going to select this hit ctrl j and let's go into the filter gallery and let's increase or bring down the intensity a bit just like that that is looking pretty nice i think hit okay and this time i'm going to go with kind of a lighter shade of our background just like that and let's double click on the clouds to make it a bit more randomized i think this are taking too much of space so i can go back in the filter gallery and maybe bring up the intensity let's set this to around maybe 35 should work good yeah that is looking pretty cool so that is how you can create this really abstract looking shapes but we are not done yet so now what we can do is let's select all the layers except our background hit ctrl g to group them up i'm going to call this patterns hit ctrl j to duplicate them so we have the pattern copy let's hide the main copy that we have right click and convert this to smart object so now we have it as a smart object and then i can go into filter and go into liquify and have some fun around with this now it's going out of the screen so i'm just gonna adjust this all right and now now i'm gonna select the first tool that is the forward warp tool and you can have some fun with this so there is no specific way of doing this you can just you know increase or decrease the size of the brush from right over here or you can do it holding alt and right click and you know have some fun you can use some other tools as well just like the smooth tool i can select that and make it a bit more uh, you know smoother just like so and let's hit okay and there you go there you have your cool looking abstract shapes so this is a really cool technique you can create some very cool patterns using this technique so make sure to have some fun around with this and i hope this tutorial helps you in doing that so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create some very cool and colorful looking abstract patterns in photoshop if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions if you guys want me to create more tutorials on photoshop and illustrator do let me know in the comment section below i would love to hear it from you guys so make sure to use this pattern in a number of different ways on products and mockups and stuff like that and have some fun playing around with this create your own patterns and you know you can also dm me on instagram with your designs or just tag me and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative stay home stay safe bye bye